12 News weather watcher Chuck Donald often sends us beautiful pictures like this of Arizona's wild horses living in the Tonto National Forest along the Salt River. These horses have survived in very harsh conditions, but now they're facing a human caused danger, trash. In fact, one of the horses had to be put down over the weekend. Team 12's William Pitts has more from the Salt River where advocates are asking people to help keep the river clean. This horse apparently died from eating bits of plastic and horse advocates say the saddest part is this was entirely preventable. No one likes to see this. Trash floating in the river on the shore, but around the Salt River, it's not just dirty, it can be deadly. Well, he was literally starving and dehydrating while he was trying to drink and eat. It was the saddest thing we've ever seen. Simona Netherlands leads the Salt River Wild Horse Management Group, the group that manages the Salt River horses. There are 400 of them roaming the desert. Last week, one of those horses, Tangua, wasn't doing well. There was something in his throat, not enough that he couldn't breathe, but enough that he couldn't eat or drink. He wasn't able to uh, clear it uh, in like two days. We were monitoring him. There was really no other way. He was going to die a horrible death, so we had to humanely euthanize him. Tangua was left in the desert, as he would have been if he died of natural causes. But when staff opened him up, they found what was causing him to choke plastic. It looked like just little shreds of like a plastic bag. People float down the river almost year round and there are trash cans along the beaches, which is why Netherlands says Tangua's death was so preventable. You know, a lot of people come down to the Salt River and it's beautiful here and, and people enjoy this river by the thousands, but they need to respect nature. Because it's not just horses that can eat the trash, it's any animal. Salt River Tubing says their staff do beach cleanups all the time, but they're not the only ones who use the river. It's really up to the people who float to keep it clean and keep trash away from animals. William Pitts, 12 News. Well, thank you.